So yeah, no, uh, I put it wrong on my schedule. So we're on 48. We've got two more episodes left after this. <laughs> Coming close to the end of the Untamed. And, ugh, mate, I'm not ready for this. I don't want it to end. I think I've had nothing more fun watching this show. It's been an absolute joy to watch. And yeah, no, I, think, I honestly think it's amazing. I think they've done a good job with the live action. It is definitely worth the watch and I'm glad I started it. Um, and it's just got stronger and stronger with each batch. Every batch of 20 episodes, I say the show just got more and more amazing. So no, otherwise... Good episode. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, though, leave a like, subscribe. Let's jump into this. Free to play. He didn't tell you in the specific reason that he didn't want you to grovel or be thankful to him. <laughs> exactly. Yes. He did them for no. He did it because he loved you. Oh, I'm glad we get so much more jet. Ah, oh, this changed the uh, way. Oh, you You're not going to be able to get it. Because you believed you did, you just made your own beliefs and didn't help the Wen Clan when needed most. Oof, that tear though. Oh, bless. You should have helped protect him too, but I think they did for you. Where with that is? Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Lang was like to throw hands. I love way when he's serious. Ugh, the show in its feels. <laughs> Definitely in the last, like, these last, like, 20 episodes, man, the feels. <sighs> Oof, the chills. Oh, these last couple episodes have been fucking perfect. I'm just, I, I, I can't put across how much I wanted this arc to be handled way better than in the anime. Because I will always keep saying, I keep saying that the anime handled it horrendously. But the fact that this is handling it near perfection is like god tier to me. Like this is all. This is the one thing that, 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 that there was two two major things I wanted from the team, and one of them. I would say is definitely to expand. So I want the pacing and everything to be slowed down and everything to like focus have more time and um, the pacing to be good. I mean, it succeeded with that. And the second thing, I just wanted them to nail the Cheng and Wei scene that they actually interacted, that they actually had more going on there than the sort of how they just did it in the anime. And yeah, so far it's been perfect. Perfect. The emotion, acting, scenery. Don't know if this is the best place to be doing it, but it's really, really good. Wounds are a bit weird to tell on this show how wounded characters are to like the foot shouldn't be stopping the guy, but yeah, I know all the magic's been stopped. Ooh. Oh, well, should can't technically bring him back, can they? Because it still counts as undead. Oh, they got a way around this. Your <laughs> vice just disappeared off his hand. Oh, no, there it is. Vice back again. 
人的利害关系，唯独对青包一号，他可尊敬有加呀。所以这也是穷奇道劫杀的一环。招来魏公子，就是因为你早知道金子轩会因为千疮百孔咒而去杀他，是吗？子轩。See, I like I like him as a villain because he's not overly powerful per se, but the way he manipulates everyone and gets people to do his want and uses his words and stuff like that—that's what makes him an interesting villain compared to like your usual like or compared to like the Wayne Clan leader, where he's like you're all powerful. The fact they changed up the villain to someone who was even behind him, uh, well, not behind him, but was with him and killed him and planned to get to the position where he was, makes him much more interesting villain than most. You're the most perfect scapegoat. Remember what Jin's thinking about all this? Like, it's just when his the father died. He's very calm. You们这些人，自诩名门正派，高洁之士，不过就是仗着自己投了个好胎，有个好家世，有什么资格目中无人？我们这些万门弟子，就不是人了。如果我有能力自保，我会被你们蓝家像扫落叶一样说逐出家门，就逐出家门吧。会，你背信弃义者，姑苏兰是不灵。很多口中来，你走的才是这般的。讨厌你这种高高在上的态度。那不是错，你就
Hey guys, I'm Nicole Jane. We're back with the Untamed. We're in the final two episodes. So the final stretch of the show. I'm assuming the fight is going to be over this episode. And then we're going to probably get a prologue episode. I'm very curious to see how the show is going to differ. Maybe I don't know if it's going to differ very much. But I'm curious to see how it's going to end. I know it's been a wild journey. I think this has been definitely one of my favourite shows on Reactor 2. I think everything past like episode 20. Like I enjoyed the first 20 episodes. But I think episode 20 plus when it was just getting to be the meat of the story. And it was just expanding everything. It was superb. Like I have no flaws with the show really. Yeah, well, I do have flaws like the combat can be a bit wank. But the storytelling, the pacing, everything just makes up for it. I've got really invested in all the characters. I've got a lot more details that I remember. It. I'm probably going to remember now and not forget. Um, I know overall, a very fantastic show overall. And I just can't wait to see how it's going to finish off and just like, wrap up this beautiful show. And the actors, I love them. I think they're amazing. And I'm curious to see if it's on a, new, a Korean show after this one. So I'm definitely going to start something new as well on top of this. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the action. If you'd like to subscribe, let's play this. The amount of betrayal he must feel. I actually really feel for him. Oh, that was badass. Never call me a friend again. You'd be the only power left. One hop. Never have done the things in the first place. They deserve to be exposed. I have no sympathy for everything this man's done. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad these two are having a full conversation because, like, it's, it's just that. Imagine, oh, imagine the betrayal. This is the guy. I don't know why they're giving him this music, you don't deserve it. Did they have this conversation in Dong War? Did they skip over this? Hey, he struck out of anger, Jesus. Yep. Let me switch a weight off Wei's shoulder. It was in my way. Imagine how like. Oh, mate. It's a shame he didn't have more screen time because he was actually really likable when he had screen time. But he definitely got a lot more than he did in the anime, so. Oh, I knew he was going to do a smoke smile. Wait, it has that range on it. Oh, and he extended it. Ugh, 
he did not deserve to die at all. Uh, that pisses me off. Absolutely disgusting what he's what his face. He didn't even get to meet his parents or anything. It's so sad. I feel so much for him. He just got such a shit hand of cards. He wasn't arrogant at all. He was actually pretty chill. He had his, he had his arrogant moments, but he's a nice guy. Feel jealousy. Uh, he's just as much to blame. He created a monster. Ah, uh, it's fucking minion. I love how I can't really predict what's going to happen because they're doing things obviously a bit differently than in Dongwa. Dongwa just had like a big massive epic battle, whereas this one is more like tactical. I like it in a way. Just shows us how much, how much more desperate he is. Oh, we don't care about you at all anyway. Oh, it took over Wending, it's a sword. Oh, is that the way they've done that? Got around it. Wait. Is that Wending? Wait. Wait, I need to see his face. His body's in there. So, yeah, if he's in Wending. Ah, that's clever, if that's how they got round it. Because I was like, how are they going to get round it with the corpse thing? I like that. That's a good decision, because that's one perfectly way round it by having him possess a sword. And it adds an extra layer, because it's when Ning to be fighting as well. Guys, it looks cool as fuck. This black folk probably looks the best it's looked. <laughs> What's putting his grip tight on him gonna do? Oh, he got his arm. Fuck it out. Wait. Oh, was it Lang who got his arm? 
Mate, like what a badass. I love him so much. He's so badass. Jesus, that was too close for comfort. Chop off his arm. Can they move out of the way of the blade, please? Move him out of the way of the blade! I know for dramatic purposes it makes more sense to keep him there, but fuck no. The dramatic slow mo there, I love it. <laughs> uh. At least they le at least had some bloody conclusion on like the dog wall where he's just crying on the dock and then just leaves it there. I'm just like Jesus. Oh fuck. Jesus, this man got just wrecked. Try to attack his younger brother. Oh, he actually cared about him. Shocking. That look of oh, that was badass. I don't when like the stupid characters who you know is actually acting a genius. It's just like showing his real self. Hey, that was cheeky. He was not letting him get out alive. That was uh, I love it. I love it when character They're the most interesting characters, you know the ones who just like come across as the friendly, kind natured ones who that can do no wrong to where he's like actually quite menacing. Like it was terrifying like the way he's gonna swap the bottle was and he just knew it and then he lies through his teeth knowing he didn't move to get him killed. It was just like, oh, I mean, cause it helps because I know he's behind him. I think, imagine watching this for the first time. He'd be like, what? Wait, what? what? And then I think like, I, I guess people could click it together quite often because he was behind everything. Well, behind uh, everyone finding out about everything. He was for revenge. Uh, oh, mate. Just seeing his character like that. Especially after seeing him being like the dumb friend for so long. It's just such a payoff. I love that. Just when you, when you get a character like that and you can actually pay off with them quite good. I don't know. It's just, oh, I love it. It's like worth it every minute for it. That was great. No, they did that really, really well. Um, no, another good episode again. They just expand on everything so well. Like the conversation, obviously getting his Jin's backstory there was a lot more interesting. I just feel like they just sort of skipped over it. And the when I say the only big flaw I had with this episode is the when Ning stuff went on for a bit. Like because there was no actual action, it's them bringing the sword, and they had to stop the sword again. But I'm glad they didn't drag it and try and show us them bringing the sword back again. They actually just did it straight away. Um, Getting the sort of motives behind the villain was a lot more done easily. It's like, I feel like I, this is all sticking with me this time. Like, I feel like when I read the book, this is all going to stick. But it's, I guess it's because it's the second time I'm sort of watching it, so it's just making a lot more sense. 
Um, all the acting was really, really good. Finding out about how like he actually did murder um, Jin, um, the, the main Jin, the Jin son, and showing a, bit, a lot more how much of a scumbag the father was was definitely well done. Like I say, he didn't justify anything he did. Everything he did was just wrong, especially all the people he got killed. And I like the way they went around the corpses this episode, because I know they have to go around it somehow. They have to get censorship. They did a good job. Using the sword was quite clever. Um, overall, another fantastic episode. And I'm really looking forward to closure. Obviously, from the last episode, I just want, um, obviously, the kid to get like, to talk to Wade properly. Um, show the, the toy and everything. Uh, when Ning have a conversation with Ning. Um, the Jin, I'm very happy with how they have done the Cheng arc. It feels a lot more complete and I hope they have like one final conversation and then my boy Lan, he's just a badass this episode. I can't wait for them to walk off together. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the last episode. It's going to be one hell of a journey. But yeah, thank you so much guys for supporting the reaction. Hope you enjoyed and see you next week. Peace.